what is up guys today I feel like making a tutorial for you guys everybody keeps asking me what kind of um, recording software do I use for like to record my gameplay on for Minecraft or like just in general or like for tutorial recording I actually have two softwares that I use but mostly I enjoy there's the good they both have pros and cons both of these softwares the first software that I'm going to show you is called hold on, hold on, um, Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 with Service Pack 2. The software is very good if you, let's say, have a really old computer. I'm not, well, I'm going to say really old. I'll say you still, you guys are still running on a Intel Core, dual core something, dual core processor or like maybe you have the first gen core i7 or core i5 whatever whatever kind of say your computer is like at least four years old or something like that the software is pretty good for using like the install, not install system requirements all you need is a one gigahertz processor with one gigs of ram and then that's it pretty much it and at least a graphics card that supports this kind of resolution yeah you download it it's a free trial this is a free trial but I will show you a website how to get this for free so you could rec uh, record your minecraft gameplay or anything I what I like about this software is that you choose what kind of audio inputs and outputs you could use so say you want your output from your speakers but your input from a separate microphone or you have an input from um, a microphone from your computer but you want uh, audio coming out from your headphones it, it records both so you get to select which one to which I'll show you how to use this right now actually so don't mind the high color the top that's just right now I'm recording with something else in my taskbar so right here see you just click on the encoder minimize that for you let me just check if it's recording Oh yeah, it's recording. Okay, I'll just minimize that. Just give it a second, cause I'm rendering a video. I'm rendering. I'm rendering the can't speak tongue twister today. I'm rendering a video also right now. I'm barely. Oh, there we go. See, this. If you click this button, it won't record. If it's red, then it means it's recording. So you first, you have also the option to record your webcam, or if you if you want, or if you don't want. So you go to options select your frame rate usually I would if you have a good bad computer I would stick with 15 but if your computer could run 30 frames I'll change it I usually change this I leave this the same leave that the same leave that the same camera if you want to use it you could use it audios this is where I like see I'm right now using a wireless stereo headset so I have my microphone input and the speakers uh, from my headset also so if I wanted to change this up, I wanna I could click on anything else that I want to see digital output. That's for what, oh that's for my HDMI, and there's my laptop microphone and my laptop speakers. You could switch this up however you like, but I usually leave them like this because I use my headset all the time for recording. That's what I like about this program. You could always change your inputs and outputs for what you want to be recorded and what you don't want, and what kind of format you want a two channel or one channel. I just leave it the same, everything the same like that, and just click OK, and just press the record button, and it will start recording. So I'm, I'll press it. it. Gives you this little window. You could change the size, whatever size, full, custom, 1080p, 720 or you could uh, resize window to fit a uh, capture or you could press select, uh, select an area see I could select either my taskbar or the whole window I just click that but I don't want that so I just go back to 720 there we go and you can move the window around if it's small this is what I you like to use sometimes when I'm not doing anything like any having any heavy ta uh, any oh, how should I put this? Any heavy text that I'm like, if I was to re be rendering a video and record another video, I wouldn't use this program for myself because the frame rate would be choppy and everything. It's not my cup of tea. But I do like that part of it. 
comes with also an editing software so when you're done recording you just got uh, I don't want to record nothing but I'll just record two seconds of it and count down three two one and there you go you hear a bleep and it starts recording blah 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 record 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 and you press stop it stops recording and there's your recording screen capture 7 I had one earlier done a long time ago but this is the new one just put, hit play it'll preview your screen capture see see it works close that and you could then send to a coding which will send it to your uh, the program to change the format to a like a regular video the most common format for here is WMV because it's Microsoft so Microsoft is a little you know pain in the ass <laughs> whatever you could say oh, sometimes you want to keep it their own all themselves they don't really offer any other option with, that, with this program you can also live stream actually I forgot that's also another plus you can live stream with this program so you go here start to call your program I could close this out make this bigger and there's your video it's working 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 and you just click encoding quality best uh, code for device uh, WMV and then if you want 720 you click that one if you want 1080p you click that one or you could just do it yourself right here you could also change enhance the audio make it better or worse or depending on how you want it maybe say you're maybe say you uh, you can't hear yourself that loud so you can enhance it and that's it pretty much that's all there is and just click Excel encode and it'll encode it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't know what's gonna happen when I'm re re rendering and recording at the same time. So let's just close that. I don't want to save. And when you save your projects or anything, my document, it'll be in my documents under expressions, expressions encoder, output, and it'll be right here. When you're finished encoding, when your screen captures, they're right here. So uh, this is yeah this is the latest one so I'm just delete that because I don't need it. Let's click. The second program where I like about is the program for editing your videos. I love this program for uh, for e editing videos and stuff like that and it's pretty I call it pretty legit a uh, pretty legit program. The only bad part about it is sometimes I get glitched out with it or like my um, my audio records but my friend's audio because I whenever I record I do I go to I am in a Skype I use Skype to record my friend's audio we're talking together and everything the other software I like is Camtasia that's why Camtasia is a, uh, for me I don't know why sometimes it records my audio but it won't record my friend's audio and then it's just like me talking to myself most of the time what I do like about this is their program for editing softwares it's really good I'm really shocked. It's only, like you could probably make a pretty good as I call it professional video out of this. This is what I call it, what uh, I recommend for for beginners. Although there is a free trial, but it's a pay, it's a free trial, and then you have to buy it. I um I'm not gonna show you it. I, I can't. I don't even know if there is a cracked version of this. I'm pretty sure there is. If you can find it, go ahead use it. But I bought mine. I bought mine. Mine's 100% legit. That's why I use. This is what I use to record my. This is what I use to record my Minecraft because I like using this to sometimes edit it. But I mostly use it to record my gameplay with this because Fraps for me is just. I don't know. Fraps is just not my cup of tea at all. It just crashes on me. I had too many problems with it. Every time I tried recording something, it'll crash my game and my computer all at the same time. With this, it just I call it when it's sometimes when I don't have enough RAM, I would my gameplay will start lagging, and that's pretty much it. That's all that happens to me. So yeah, this I really like. The features the features in it are pretty damn good. You can make templates, uh, proficiency, you could even use a green screen. That is that's really good if you could use a green screen in this it's really really good it has its own audio uh, audios like I go to accessories like you could download more themes powerpoints what uh, movie makes I don't even know what those are temp some kind of templates 
music like if you say you want to make an intro uh, and you have you don't have music in your intro you could use their music for an intro but yeah this program I recommend if someone really wants to get serious about YouTube I really do recommend this for like tutorials and stuff like that the other one I recommend for beginners and this one I recommend for head color really serious people who want to get down dirty system requirements I would say you need at least two see I told you two gigs of RAM minimum for I have a I have eight gigs of RAM so I have plenty when the um, but that's it and the dual core processor minimum I have a quad core so I hear it's for me I'm good everything else is pretty decent that's all you need pretty end of resolution so two gigs resolution eight gigs of RAM of uh, two gigs of RAM I mean sorry and a dual core processor and yeah they do also have it in the Mac version so if you guys really want to do it for a Mac there's a Mac version this one I'm not too and for the the Microsoft one, I do not know if there's a, a Mac version, so sorry, but yeah. What I this is how the recording looks like when you start recording. You got your I call it the duration. How long have you been recording? The audio maximum. You could pause, stop. When you click stop, it stops the recording and starts saving, or you could delete it. You got also effects like mouse click effects and stuff like that. And yeah, pretty much. Okay, now to show you guys how to get the free version of the Microsoft. So there's a website that tells you everything how to get see how to record your screen in HD for free by this guy by this person by actually this is the website Techno FYI shows you oh unlike Apple oh there oh there is also a high call Mac version so there you go guys. 15 minutes all you have to do is the uh, download the link where right here just download that um, go down skip the entering of the product key I'll link this in the description install finish look at the program pretty much yeah Pretty much all there is. It's not much. <laughs> With this is only ten minutes. Oh wait. Um. You know what? I, if I would go digging, I would go. You know what? For you guys. I'll go digging around and I'll find a product you a product key for you and link it in the description so you guys could record more than 10 minutes because it looks like you only can record 10 minutes of video and that's it. For you guys, I will put in I will put the I will look for the product key and look, and give it to you so you can record more. But the, for the other one, I can't do it because you gotta buy it. I'm sorry, I had to buy it. I'm pretty sure there is a cracked version out there somewhere, but I don't know. And yeah. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys later. Later.